Patrick Moore Gallery. What incredible talent. I know, three generations. Yeah, great idea to get them all together. Mm -hmm. Great idea to maybe put an extra log on the fire and uh, watch these storms come in. Okay. <laughs> and if you need to travel, I'm going to give you some travel advice. But first of all, we go to Chopper 5 and some picture perfect, well, video of the West Desert. You can see the Stansbury Range out in the background. We always heads well and uh, the photographers that go along with him. Gorgeous, beautiful, some of the words to describe this evening on the sunset. Well, we had another person who took a sunset picture this evening. Lindsay Claus was at, looking out over Utah Lake and that's what she saw. You can see those clouds and of course little breaks in the sun underneath the clouds and so you get these brilliant colors. As the night gets dark, of course, this, this lights up the background and we have had three days in a row of these magnificent sunsets. Now winds have been a big problem. Traveling east and west, it has been difficult. High profile vehicles really getting buffeted around. Logan Summit, 78 miles per hour. Kimball Junction, 60 miles per hour. Evanston, 55, even Plymouth, 52. The Olympus Cove, 49, and Provo on the BYU campus, 46 miles per hour. This is the precursor to a storm system that is lunging our way. You know, you get those southerly winds, the warm before the storm, and now you can see showers beginning to form out by Elko, and you're going to see a big change in the weather over the next several days. And I want you to listen very carefully to what I have to say and what I have to show you. It is zero in Great Falls right now. Arctic air is looming. We have moisture coming in off the Pacific. We have a clash zone setting up. It is a perfect scenario, especially in the beginning for those areas that are favored by southwest flow. And tomorrow we start the colder air coming in. We have to wait until this cold front here moves by and then the colder air on Sunday. It's just a one, two, three whammy as this storm moves in. Now here's 6 p.m. on Saturday, so we'll be mainly rain tomorrow until the front goes by. It'll change to snow tomorrow night. It will snow on Sunday. The second front moving in again, favoring southwest areas where uh, you'd you know like Sundance, Park City, uh, up in the Ogden Valley. Here's your forecast for tomorrow, pretty wet. And the next several days, I put wind on the maps because wind will be a big problem and then it gets downright cold. Park City, 19 for a high on Wednesday, minus eight in the morning. That's after you have what could be several feet of snow up in the higher areas of the resorts. In the basin, enough snow with this first storm because southwest flow does favor the basin. You'll get some snow cover and then you'll have fog as a result and cold temperatures that will get stuck in the basin. Same thing for price. Enough snow with these first storms that there will be some fog and cold air lingering through the Thanksgiving holiday. Southeastern Utah showers mixing with probably turning to snow briefly and then just cold. Bottom line for Cedar City, Rain turns to snow and accumulating snows are likely Sunday, Monday into Tuesday. In St. George, you'll see some rain showers right into Sunday into Monday morning. Again, traveling for the next four days, I'm telling you. And on Tuesday, we have an Arctic front that will bring near blizzard conditions to some areas. So if you have to travel, You'll want to pay attention very carefully to the Live 5 forecast. You can go to your mobile phone and get our fo forecast. You can go to KSL.com. We'll keep you updated. Yeah, wow. About a week ahead. Yes, very, very active weather, but mainly rain tomorrow, okay? Okay.